landmark since 1927. A lot of locals were saddened when, in the summer of 96, the palace closed after 69 years in business. But now it's back with new owners who are determined to make this business work. The Palace Diner is Bill Green's stop on this week's My Hometown. When the Pollard Company built it back in 1927, someone said it looked just like a palace. And the Palace Diner would greet customers on Franklin Street in Biddeford until it closed in June of last year. One happy guy. No, it's been one happy guy. Just... Rick Bernier is happy because he's living the American dream. He and wife Joe bought the palace and opened it three weeks ago. You want some jelly for your English muffin? She waits on the customers serving up the good food Rick whips up in the back. I've been wanting to do this for about 20 years since I used to work at the Cascade Inn in Stockholm. Yeah. And when I got out of the restaurant business because I had kids and everything, I told my wife, if we ever get back into it again, we're going to do it on our own, a little diner. The Berniers put everything they have into the palace and subsequently put everything they have into their daily efforts. Customers seem to appreciate what Rick and Joe are doing. See, it's just quaint, cozy. Uh, this place has a lot of atmosphere. Good food. It's very clean. Yep, stainless steel, all polished up. Uh oh, you're gonna have some real characters coming in here now. Rick and Joe say they want to make a living, but they're more interested in making friends. Tom's an expert on the palace and on diner eating. And he says the key to good eating here is the grease, which makes it slide down faster. And I would concur. The owners, however, disagree. So if you're looking to get filled up on election analysis or the inside scoop on Bitterford football, check out the palace. It's never gone out of fashion. With my hometown in Bitterford, Bill Green, News Center. And Bill tells us the special at the palace diner is anything on the menu, plus a steak. So you better be hungry when you go. <laughs> Joe Cupo is next with the, with the forecast for what could be a stormy weekend. And later